Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are doing a legs workout. So we're gonna be working the quads, hamstrings, and glutes to build and maintain muscle, okay? I know that you guys have been asking for this. For this workout, I'm keeping the equipment to a minimum. All you need is a chair. That is all you need to do this workout. So grab a chair or a raised surface of some kind and come and work out with me. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos. Join me on Instagram and TikTok. And without further ado, let's get into the workout. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's start the workout beginning with a warm up. So jogging on the spot, let's go. Getting the blood flowing, heart pumping a little faster as we warm up before we do the more intense exercises. Now, I want you to make sure that the chair you've got or the surface you've got is stable. Don't want anyone falling over in this. So make sure it can take your weight and it's not gonna topple over um, if you stand on it or move about it, okay? And we're doing some toe touches. So legs apart, side lunges, side to side, nice big open arms as we twist in the upper body, side to side. Weight through the heels, feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Nice deep breaths. Well done. And we're gonna do some stretches, so in a lunge position, push the hips forward to stretch the quad of the leg that's on the ground. Pushing into that knee in front and then turn over the knee in front to look behind you and get a nice stretch through the side, through the waist. Deep breaths as we switch onto the other side, lunging forward, pushing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, not overarching the lower back, and then turning to look behind you, feeling the stretch through the side and the back and the quads. Awesome. And we're gonna do some knee hugs. So hugging the knee into the chest, alternating legs as we go. Bringing the knee up nice and high. And then we're gonna do some leg swings. So hold onto a wall or a chair and just swing the leg in front and behind. You wanna make sure that you're not arching your back in order to increase the range of movement. Just work with the flexibility that you've got, that's okay. Just a dynamic stretch and then on the other leg. So isolating the leg, making sure it's the only thing moving and your upper body isn't arching and all that nonsense. As we loosen up, ready to start. Awesome, so as I set the timer, I will show you the first move that we are doing, which are some step ups with a knee drive. So knee drive step up. So you wanna stand up on the chair, driving the opposite knee up into the air, moving the arms as you go. Getting a little bit breathless with this first one, but getting a great workout in. Ready and go. So I want you to make sure that your weight is going through your heels. So the weight of your body is going through your heels. I don't want your toes feeling all cramped up and tight. You should be able to wiggle your toes as you stand up nice and tall and drive the opposite knee through as you come up. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes and uh, the hamstrings intentionally. You'll also get a really good quad burn. Try and be quite powerful with this. So you wanna like be like, getting that knee all the way up being powerful not just you know passively standing up but being intentional about it and rest for 20 seconds well done then we're going to do the same thing but on the other leg Ready and go. Weight through the heels, chest up, standing up nice and tall, driving the opposite leg all the way through so the knee is coming really high, 
using the arms to exaggerate that movement and add a bit of energy to that movement. So keeping a nice bend in the arms, keeping them at about 90 degrees. So opposite arm to opposite leg so that you keep your balance. Keep going, you're doing so well. Weight through the heels, chest up, breathing through it. I know it starts to burn. And rest, well done, that was awesome. Then we're gonna do some single leg squats. If you're new to squatting, you can just do some normal squats sitting back. So uh, I say normal squats, double leg squats, sitting back towards the chair. Um, but I really want the rest of us to give this a go. So on one leg, we'll be sitting back to the chair and coming up, ready and go. You can take your first two attempts to kind of just get your placement. So you want the chair to be like properly behind you, okay? So I don't want your knee coming in front of the foot on the ground as you bend down. I want your hips to be sitting back so your knee should not come further forward than the front of your foot. Does that make sense? Um, so sitting back, keeping nice, good posture, staying balanced. You wanna just almost just like, just, just touch the chair and then get back up, okay? So we're not fully like relaxing, chillaxing, sitting down, but just sitting back towards the chair, using it as a target and getting a really good workout in the single leg and rest. These are so good because we're essentially kind of like almost doubling the weight that we're moving through that leg by just doing uh, one leg at a time. It's also really good for sorting out any imbalances that you might have between the legs because everyone tends to have like a dominant side and go. So getting your balance, getting your positioning, you can move a little bit further forward if you need to, but sitting back, weight through the heels. So you move from your hips first backwards, chest stays lifted, squeezing the glutes and the hammies and the quads as we stand back up. Staying nice and balanced, the arms can come out in front of you as you sit back, that will help you stay balanced breathing through it again if you're not able to keep your balance that's fine just do two leg squats double leg squats and rest well done smashed it next move is an absolute fave of mine bulgarian split squats so one leg on the chair one leg in front it's kind of like a lunge except it's not really a lunge it's more of like a split squat because that is quite literally what it is um ready and go now the trick with this is i don't want you to lunge too far forward okay this is this ain't a splits competition this is not the USA gymnastics team, okay? We're not trying to over-exaggerate that. You wanna be comfortable. And the reason for that is if you stretch your leg too far forward, you're just gonna end up bending your back, breaking your back and getting lower back pain. And that's not what we're here for. We're here for gains, not for like danger, okay? So keep your core nice and tight. Um, your weight through the heel of the leg in front sitting down. So you're literally lowering the body straight down, not bringing it forward in front of you, not bringing it back behind you just kind of straight down and rest and you should feel it most in the leg in front but you will inevitably feel it a bit in the leg behind especially in the glutes um, of both sides such a good move love this move ready and go so lowering the body down now the reason why you're lowering the body down and not necessarily having to push back is because your positioning should already be such that um, that is actually the natural position of the body. So when you come down, the, the knee in front will be going into like a right angle. If you find that lowering down means that your knee comes in front of your foot, then it means you need to probably shuffle back a little bit. Keep going. You might feel a little bit of a stretch in the quad of the leg behind you, but that's okay. And rest. Then we're doing some hip raises. So bringing it down to the floor. Um, feet on the chair. At around about, I guess, like a 90 degree, 90 degree bend, knees at 90 degree bend. And then we're lifting the hips up, ready and go. So resting your arms beside you keeping the feet pointing to the ceiling. So I'm not doing a flat foot. I'm gonna feel it a bit more in the hamstrings. 
that are just gonna lift the hips up. Now the aim of the game is to get the body in a straight line from shoulders to hips to knees. A little bit difficult, but that's okay, that's the aim. We're squeezing at the top, intentionally squeezing the glutes. Getting a really good, intense workout of the hamstrings and the glutes here to strengthen them, tone them, build them, and shape them. Doing really well, just a few more and rest well done and you can stretch in between before we do some single leg hip raises but we're going to do these differently because these are a bit more intense we're actually going to count them out so we're going to do 12 on each leg so forget about the timer and um, after this rest and we're just going to count out 12 on each leg so starting on the left leg and go two three four you can take your time with it and go at your own pace being really powerful in the movement. And when you've done 12, switch to the other leg. So raising the hips all the way up, still aiming to get that straight line at the top. When you're at the top, you wanna get that straight line from the shoulder to the hips to the knees. Isolating each leg, getting a good balance so we're sorting out any imbalances here and rest well done again you can stretch it out <laughs> as i'm doing here uh, before we go on to frog leg hip raises so feet just chilling on the chair knees apart and go lifting the hips through keeping a nice tight core squeezing the glutes knees nice and open so that we can really intensify the squeeze of the glutes ankles together your feet don't have to be quite in the prayer sign but heels together as we lift through again aiming to get the hips all the way up mind to muscle muscle mind to muscle connection being intentional about that squeeze you can do it keep going nearly there a few more and relax, well done. Then we're gonna back it up a little bit. So just straighten out the legs because we're going back in with the straight leg hip raise. So getting that full hip extension, squeezing the glutes. And go. So lifting the body up. nice tight core mind to muscle connection you're doing so so well nearly there guys keep going the hands are only there to support you okay all the movement all the energy and the lift is coming from the muscles of the legs you're doing so so well and rest well done awesome then we're going to finish off this workout with some more hip raises so we're going back in with the bent leg bent bend at the knee heels on the chair ready and go lifting up all the way try and come up as high as you can squeezing being forceful trying to generate as much force as you can as you bring the hips through you're doing so so well i know it burns but that is what you are here for you did not come here for me to sing you a lullaby did you no there's there's other channels for that this is where we become strong and fitter and give our bodies the exercise that we need and deserve you can do this just a few more you're doing so so well And relax well done oh so proud of you give yourself a high five on my behalf and um, we're gonna finish off with some stretches because chances are your hamstrings are feeling a little bit a little bit pinchy so um yeah just bring your legs out in front of you keep a nice straight leg and just reach for the toes um pushing your chest towards your legs a little bit you can rock with it you can move with it lean with it rock with it move with it something 
Um, but yeah, just doing whatever you feel, wherever it feels tight. And we're going to bring the knees up, hands behind supporting and just tipping it to each side, stretching out the thighs, the hips, side to side. Awesome. Then we're going to bring one leg back behind. So your legs are in an L-shaped position and just reach forward, rounding the head down over the leg in front, feeling the stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. It's intense, but, uh, but, but we like it. After that workout, you need a bit of, need a bit of release. And then switching onto the other leg. You can move the foot around as you feel. You can literally just like listen to your body. Wherever it's tight, if you need to hold it for a little bit longer, that's okay. That's okay, you do you. This is just, just a guide. Deep breaths. And up on our feet. And we're gonna stretch out the quad. So holding on to the ankle, keep a nice tight core and bring the leg back. So you wanna kind of pull on the foot and ankle wherever you can reach to bring that quad back and feel the stretch and then switch on the other side. What you don't wanna do with this stretch is arch your lower back in order to, you know, make a, a false, a faux, exaggerated stretch that will just give you pain in the lower back. You wanna actually keep a nice tight core. And we're done. Well done. You, you done, done, did it. Well done. So proud of you guys. Thank you so much for working out with me. I will see you very soon. Bye.